Seems like a lot of people are using GoDaddy for their junk removal websites. So I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a WordPress website using GoDaddy and do it easily and pretty quickly. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal guys, dumpster rental companies, and small business owners really navigate the internet, really understand SEO, how to build better websites to get them more traffic, which equals more money in their pockets. And today what I want to discuss is I've noticed a lot of people building their websites with GoDaddy. And GoDaddy, in my opinion, is a great company. It's a great service. It's a little more pricey than others, but in a way they've earned it. They've spent, they've spent all their advertising to spend over the years building up their brand. And that's probably why most uh, junk removal companies tend to go when they go in to get a domain name and set up a website, they use GoDaddy. The only problem that I'm seeing, and I've seen it time and time again, is I see a lot of guys building these websites with the GoDaddy builder, which, in my opinion, really, really sucks. And the reason they do it is because it's the easiest way to do it. I wish GoDaddy would just explain to people how easy it can be. So today I'm going to do that for you guys, how to set up a WordPress website using WordPress hosting with GoDaddy. So it's real simple. First of all, if you already have a GoDaddy account, um, just go in there and set one up. I mean, you already have one, so you already set up. If you don't have one, just go in and get one set up. But you just go into GoDaddy, for example, here. Here's my account. And when you get to their homepage, you see all the services and all this other crap you just don't need. They just try to complicate the hell out of it. But I'm going to show you where you need to go. Just go to WordPress right here. All right, just click on that. And it's just going to have a, a barrage of just a bunch of shit that you just don't need. But what you're going to look for is managed WordPress, which is right here. Okay. And then you're going to have options right here. So this is the only one. Ignore the rest of this other crap. So just manage WordPress. All right. So you go on here and they usually have four options right here. You got basic, deluxe, ultimate pro. I always go with the ultimate because what you get is you get your, uh, you get the website, you get the SSL certificate. This is the this little deal right here with the little lock on your domain address. Um, you're gonna need that too, and you're gonna need what is it? it give, if you don't have a domain name, to give you a free domain name, and then you just set that up. Go to add to cart. You can pay monthly, um, monthly. You can pay 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, depending on what you want to do. Let's say here this one's 36 months. You're looking at 450 for three years. Don't have to worry about this crap for three years. Uh, most people used to go with 12 months. Ends up being like, what is it, 230, 230 a month. Once in a while, they'll have deals and stuff like that. But right now, it's 230 roughly. And then you're set. You're you're set. You got your hosting. You got your domain name. You got the certificate, the SSL certificate at the top of your website. Everything's good to go, and you're all set up. And then what ends up happening is that you go on here, and then you go on to your products. Once it's all paid for, right, you go on to your products just like this. Mine's going to have a lot more because I got I do a bunch of other stuff, but you'll go into managed WordPress, right? Go to manage WordPress and then you'll have one and you'll set it up. You click manage. And then what ends up happening is Google's going to ask you to, do you want to set one up? It's going to tell you what region, just put North America and just hit set it up. Boom. And you get started. And what ends up happening, once it's all set up, you get your domain and you get your website set up just like this. You'll create an administrative and then a password and everything for it. But it's going to look just bare bones, just something like this right here. I'm using this as an example because somebody asked me to help them with their website. But there it is. This is your WordPress website. There's nothing to it but this blank page. And then what you got to go is go into the dashboard. And this is what I do to make it as simple as possible. Oh, let me go in here real quick. Sorry, there's a little break in the action there. How to put in the password can't show you guys because you guys will go in there and mess up this guy's website just kidding but anyways so you'll have your website just like this it's just bare bones you see go back here again just a bare bones website you go into the dashboard see the dashboard click on that and the very first thing that i do is to make this super simple for people is i use something called elementor so you go into the themes let's go right here appearance and then themes right and then they upload these themes right here and I mean, they all work, but I use Elementor because it's the easiest, the simplest way for you guys to build up a website. You guys are out there on the field. You guys are kicking ass. You know, you guys don't got time to, you know, basically mess around with the Internet. So what you guys do is go on here. Already have it saved on here. Add new. 
search for Elementor, and I used Hello Elementor. Super simple. So install that, right? You install that, activate it, and it's going to ask you to install Elementor Builder. So you click on that too. So we're installing that. Yada yada, you got to wait a little bit. Activate the plugin. And then you're good to go. Now we go on here. Let's create one page. Add a new page. Click on that. Ignore this, all this crap. You don't need it. Let's make this a home page. And then up here, the big blue button says edit with Elementor. Okay. And there you go. And you go on to the settings part right here. Elementor full width. So this makes it nice and easy. And drag and drop. And you can start adding sections just like this one here. You can add a section right here. Let's do it with this section right here just to make a header. Um, you can just and then you click this right here to change the back, the background of this. And I believe it's this one you click. So we'll add an image like this one here. I preloaded it before I started this. So there's the image, but you can't really see how big it is. So we change the size of that. Da, da, da. Either fit the screen, minimum height. You can change that height to whatever you want. You see that? So there's you got your header, and then you could add like, uh, see right here, drag and drop. You can drop your headline on here. We haul junk, just like this. You can center it right there. You can here's the change the font color right here to whatever you want. You know, make it white. How big you want it, right here. You know, just like that. Then spell junk, and you can go in here and fix it too. Um, but that's how you do it. And you could add stuff like buttons too, like. Let's say a button, you know, just like this. Click here. You can center the button. Um, so you make it drag and, a drag and drop website with the, the Elementor and WordPress. It makes it super easy. Uh, it's going to take you some time, but, you, you know, you can make that happen for yourself. And here's one that, like I said, I, I've been working on now. You can see all the sections that I've built on this one here. Just like this. And it takes a while to, you know, figure it all out and just fiddle around with it. But it's just drag and drop. It give you all kinds of options right here. And this is how I built these sites. And then when they're all said and done, they look all professional. They load up quickly. And like I said, they're built on WordPress and they kick ass. Just like that. And then what I do is I, I also have a template that I have saved on these websites so whenever i want to build a new page for example like this let's say i wanted to build a new page for appliance edit with element edit elementor i push that blue button all right i always go to the settings elementor full width right there and then I have templates that I have saved up right here to insert into a page. So everything's already pre-built. That's something you guys are going to have to do for yourselves. Unless you guys want me to do this for you, I can do stuff like that. But this inserts a page that I've already preset. You just add it on there. Bam. That new page looks like this. There it is. And I could change this to... Uh, Appliance removal. I didn't spell that right. Appliance removal. And then you can change the title on it. See H1 title tag. See this one right here is H2 title tag. There's so much stuff you can do on it. It's awesome. Um, like I said, it just takes some time. And like I always say, if sometimes when you don't have the money, most of the time you do have the time. When you don't have the time, you usually have the money. That's why it's always worked for me and all the businesses that I've ever done uh, when I've learned all this online stuff. Um, I could have paid somebody to do some stuff or I, I don't have the money. So I just sat there and learned it myself to figure all this crap out. So that's what I wanted to show with you guys today, how to 
basically go on to GoDaddy, go on WordPress hosting, purchase it, get it all set up. Super simple. You guys are already using GoDaddy to begin with, which is good. Um, you guys are busy. You guys don't need to be dealing with a bunch of other crap. Just set up some stuff with GoDaddy, and it's a done deal after that. Website set up, and you can start building it with Elementor. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys want to learn more about what I do, some of the services that I provide, I help you guys do this thing for you. Um, I'll later on, probably set up some of these templates for you guys to copy and use if you guys use an Elementor with WordPress and all that stuff. And that's all I got for you guys this time. Until uh, next time.